it's just constantly challenging. The people are great to race with, and every year, you know, you just it's addictive and you just can't help yourself. You've got to you've got to re-register. <laughs> and it's you know, having done other types of racing, but it it's about as cheap as it gets. Quality of driver at the, the front of the grid is uh, <coughs> better than ever. Uh, there are more good quality drivers, so if you do make a mistake in qualifying, you're not qualifying third or fourth, you're qualifying down in 10th or 11th, and I've, I've had that a couple of times this year already. It's reasonably economical as racing goes, and it's a great level playing field. You know, I've been racing the same car now for 20 years, and it's still at the front. Driver's perspective is superb. Last year I was up in the top three, raced all year, wheel to wheel, and it really was wheel to wheel all the way through the whole year. But the respect that everybody has for each other and looking after each other and coming back in, as well in, with the families and having a beer and discussing everything which went on, brilliant place to race, absolutely superb place to race. Even better to win. <laughs> um, third last year though, unfortunately, but uh, good place to be. Why Caterham graduates then? Um, I think, uh, well actually, Darren started with the idea. Um, we started looking at it and um, it just looks like a really good entry level way of getting into racing. Um, seems relatively cost effective, as cost effective as motorsport can be. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just really, really nice people. Really good club. Um, I think that's what really attracted me to it, was the fact that there's so many people that help so much. You know, I know when the visors are down, that's a bit different than the racing. But um, <laughs> but yeah, pretty much uh, outside of that, people are so helpful, and you know, you need to learn a lot. I've never done anything before with racing at all. Hardly any involvement in motorsport other than spectating. So yeah, it was a very big step. Big step. So um, coming into this, yeah, and people are really helped out. So yeah. The thing we loved about it as well is the fact that all the cars are identical in our class. So it's a sealed engine anybody's game it's all about the talent so that's what we've got to work on um, but you know that's where everybody helps each other out as well we, we borrow cars of people it's just it's really a really good atmosphere in the paddocks so all those things together really help Harry you did a lot of karting by the sounds of it to start with I did, yeah. I used to, uh, right from being a kid, I used to do a lot of karting. I ran my own kart team when I was a teenager. Um, worked at a go-kart circuit, so I've always grown up in and around karts and I've just tried to graduate into the bigger things, get used to the gear changes and that sort of thing. And has it been a, a good fun to sort of step into this particular club, the Caterham Graduates? Oh, it's been brilliant, yeah. Everyone here is so welcoming. It's a nice place to be. Um, and, I mean, the racing is just great. I've always loved Caterhams, I've been in the club now for five years and came up through the ranks through Megas yeah. and then upgraded to Sigmax this year. Um, two championships um, to my name in Megas in 2015 and 16 and then hopped into the Sigmax this year, great car and some fierce competition. Um, Harry, Jamie, Jamie, Owen, James, there's, there's probably 10 or 12 of us who could win a race at any time and um, it really shows you know, from, from race to race, really good fun. Like I spent a couple of weekends with the grads, got to know them before I actually made the, the sort of the, the plunge, and I was just bowled over with the friendliness. It's, they are so lovely. Everyone's really nice. The driving standards approach is amazing. It just gives you that comfort of knowing that you know you're not going to have people lunging down the inside doing really stupid driving because it's strictly controlled. I really like that too. I've probably been racing the Caterhams now for four, five years, two or three full time. The driving standards thing I think is important that we have here. It's really, I want to know it's frowned upon and it'll be dealt with if somebody does anything stupid. We all make mistakes, that's absolutely fine, but bad driving, deliberate bad driving, must not be allowed. It's too, I can't afford, I can't afford it. I, you know, I'm doing this on a budget um, and I love that. I love the fact that it's driving standards and, and it's applied, it's good. No, it, it, we all help each other out at the end of the day. We all want to be there. We all want to be, each other to be on track. We don't want people not to get to race. It's too expensive to actually come here and actually not end up racing. So, and yeah, it's just brilliant fun. And, and actually, you know, it's really a, a great weekend out with a race with mates at the same time. All engines are sealed. We only run a certain amount of gearboxes in them, controlled tyres, number of tyres were controlled. Um, 
So th that's what my remit is really, is, is just to make sure that everybody runs to the same playing field really. Not another club like this, I, I can assure you. This, they're, they're willing to lend people everything. You know, if you, if you have a crash car, they're like scavengers. They're, they're, they, they tear the cars apart so, so they can get another car out. Um, and we do, yeah, as you say, a variety of packages. So uh, uh, we start an emergency support. People, you know, people bring their own cars, look after their own cars, but if they get a big, big problem like a gearbox or an engine go, you know, we'll, we'll replace that for them and get them out racing. That's what it's all about. And from there, going up to full support, you know, people literally just throw their cars down to us, and <laughs> yeah, they can be anywhere in the country. They never see their cars again until they come racing. Um, so as Ben says, we, we try and offer variety to bring nearly everyone we can get here, you know, um, from the emergency sport, same as Ben. Uh, we've done a lot of ad hoc this year because people only want to do a certain number of rounds. So we've offered out an ad hoc service, again, to bring people into the club. So if you only want to do four races in the season, then we're, you know, trying to accommodate that as well. I so say between the two of us, we cover, you know, a very wide variety of packages for people. A lot of these guys, they can do all the work if they want to, but uh, that they just like they, they want to know that their cars are nicely prepped, and they want to know all they all they've got to do is concentrate on going fast and bringing home the trophies, as a, a lot of my guys have today. So but it's uh, it's been good. The racing is really close. There's a great camaraderie in the in the paddock. Um, it's great uh, being with Rocky Racing. Uh, they look after the car this year for me for the first time. They're actually. Uh, doing everything on the car and driving it around which means um, I don't have to worry about it. I turn up on a Friday, I leave on a Sunday night, they look after the car, they're very good at prepping it um, and the top three supers are all looked after by Ben so we know the cars are all the same, um, I just need to get better. Absolutely fantastic, from a family point of view and a friendship point of view it's superb. We did, we came across on block, um, we created a bit of noise when we arrived, barbecues late into the evening are always good fun, um, but the family atmosphere is superb. I've been racing for 10-12 years with the club and it's been absolutely brilliant because it's so friendly. It's, it's been a tremendous experience, great that uh, you know we're all doing it together, it's uh, great, great as a family enterprise. I started off in my dad's super, a couple of races at the end of the year, and then in the Sigmas, yeah, I picked it up quite quick, and then I um, managed to get second last year, and now I moved on to a different challenge of the Sigmax. You know, I just don't want to stop, you know, he's just looking at the, the calendar, when's the next one around. It's a passion now, can't, can't stop. It's great, it really is good. Lovely club, um, great friendship, great uh, fellowship. I've been doing it since 2009. I don't really want to give up, so I intend racing for a few more years yet. I mean, I've been racing since 2000 and with the club 2001. We've had a mix of ages all the way through. So no, age doesn't matter at all. It's all good fun out there. But all the younger guys, I think, have a lot of respect for us because we're still out here doing it. And just occasionally we do get past them, but <laughs> for very brief moments. I love the club, I love the atmosphere here, and uh, bangs for your bucks, there's nothing like cage from racing, you know, so um, yes, I carry on as long as I can put one foot in front of the other, really. <laughs> yeah. And the cage rooms are quite single-seater-esque, if you like, you know, it's not like driving a saloon car where there's always compromises, it, it does, they do feel flat, planted, uh, you know, quite racy, and yet uh, also quite benign at the same time, so uh, they tolerate mistakes, but obviously to get the best out of them you've still, still got to be smooth and good. I took the plunge last year, bought a car and it's been great. Uh, club's very friendly, oh, there's not a great deal in setup, so you can pretty much turn up, you know, have the wheels pointing roughly in the right direction, and if you're quick, you're, you're quick, you know, and that's, and that's a great way to go to start racing. Uh, it's actually quite a bit of a bit of a very positive surprise, if I can say. Um, I mean, this is all run by volunteers, but it's done absolutely superbly. Um, the people are friendly. The racing is great. So it's been a been a fantastic experience. What I liked it is that uh, without having to do upgrades every year, I can get my car in here and, and just keep racing. So that's really good. Yeah.
just enjoying driving with a great group of drivers and you know, fantastic time. I mean, everybody is here, and the end of the day, you have a whole bunch of guys and girls that all have the same passion, right? So the atmosphere is always going to be great. As long as you're talking about the star of the show, which is the catering, um, everybody's going to have a good time.